Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Bape and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a quick 3 minute Starachnus guide. This is mainly just to show the setup that I tend to bring as well as the inventory. I thought this would be an interesting video idea because I often forget what I need to bring whenever I go to bosses that I don't do too often. So hopefully this helps jog your memory as well. And the first thing we'll jump into is going to be the inventory as well as the gear setup. So here, as far as gear goes, you're essentially going to want to bring whatever max melee you can, and Seracnus is weak to crush, so bring your best crush weapon. In that case here, I'm bringing the Abyssal Bludgeon. If you have access to the Inquisitor Mace, that might be better, but uh, I wasn't able to cough up the 500 mil to try it out, but let me know how it goes. While you're going to be essentially bringing max melee, I do tend to go with a Carol's Top instead of anything else because it does provide a good bit of magic defense, which the minions that Seracnus summons actually deals quite a bit of magic damage, and I saw that I was getting hit significantly less using this over something like the Fighter's Torso. As far as inventory goes, I do have a spec weapon, of course, being that Dragon Warhammer. You can bring a BGS or no spec at all. And I have a knife to cut through the web, so don't forget that. And six prayer potions usually tends to be more than enough for me. I could actually probably cut it down to five if I really wanted to. And then I have four Karamb wands for combo eating, just to save me a little bit of time, and the rest is going to be sharks. Of course, use anything such as anglers or mantas, but this boss does not give a huge amount of profit, so make sure to monitor how much you're spending on food. So with gear and inventory out of the way, let me show you how I actually prefer to get to this boss. So I found that by far and away, the easiest way to get to this boss is going to be by using your Xerix Talisman, so make sure to pick one up and get plenty of charges with the Lizardman Fangs. I have mine mounted in my house so I never run out of charges, I just have to have my rune pouch with house tabs in it at all times. Once you get here, you're going to need to teleport to the Glade of Xerix Talisman, and that'll take you just a few steps away from the dungeon where Seracnus lives. Once you teleport to Hosidius, run over to your left and it's going to be the first dungeon sign there. Once you head down, there should be a ton of spiders and red spider eggs. Make sure to run past them and cut down your first web. Cut down your second web right after that and then finally the third one and you'll be at Seracnus's lair. Here you can see a quick map, just run directly south once you get into the actual dungeon itself. This is why you need a knife or any other sharp object. So finally, let's go over the boss fight. For Seracnus, you're going to want to leave on Protect from Melee and Piety the entire time, and then eventually you're going to get webbed and it'll run away. At that point, switch to Protect from Missile, and then once you get close enough again, back to Protect from Melee. If you do it perfectly, she shouldn't hit you at all. Now she will summon small spiderlings. You can decide to kill the blue ones, which are the majors, or not at all, which is what I tend to do. One last tip, make sure to buff at the bank to save some inventory spots. That's going to be about it for the guide. Thanks, and have a great day.